Hello, I'm Scooter Dave, and I'm really not too sure where to start this video or what contact to put in it. I bought a little Zuma scooter back in January 2018. It seemed like a sturdy little scooter, but man, was I wrong. It started falling apart almost immediately. And these are typical of most every scooter out there. They don't make them last very long. Maybe their intent is to use them for a season or two. The metal they use seems to be made out of rubbish. Parts don't really line up very well. And the brake pads are eaten up very shortly. The frame was constantly breaking. And maybe that was the most expensive frustrating part of it all. My intentions of this video is to inspire you and introduce you to my scooter. Let's have a look at this fantastic fancy scooter and why it is so reliable, powerful, and economical. But most of all, safe. As you can see, there's more than enough LED lighting to go around it. And the biggest question I keep getting asked is, does the 10 inch headlight on it work? And the answer is, of course. It can be seen for miles around. And it looks like a sideways Christmas tree, I'm told, going down the road. The LEDs are super bright, 5730 in the cool blue color. The starter generates the electricity. It's a starter generator. It puts out approximately 18 volts at the top speeds and approximately 30 amps. I figured out a new kind of charging system that actually works for these devices. Most people overcharge their batteries and blow them up very quickly. But that's for a different video. I've also found a way to keep these starters going and lasting a lot longer than what they normally do and probably get about four or five times more life out of it. Okay, enough of that for now. I need to tell you why this is the most amazing two-stroke engine system. First, it is a lot more quieter. It's not quite as loud as a lawnmower, like a four-stroke lawnmower. If you can think four-stroke Honda generator, that's about what the sound it puts out. The sound also seems to fade very quickly with distance. The engine is also very powerful. It has a lot more torque than normal two-stroke engines. It feels a lot like a little 50cc turbo diesel engine. The torque and horsepower is quite impressive, with a strange side effect that it used to get about 75 miles to the gallon, and now it's getting 121 if you're careful and you drive it that way. It can be ridden at slow walking speed, or it can be ridden at 29 miles per hour. It is a single speed hybrid electric gas engine with a whole lot of get up and go. It can also climb some pretty steep hills. Maybe not the steepest ones, but very steep hills. Okay, let's take the scooter out for a short trip. Okay, I just locked my door and now I'm gonna hook up my trailer to my scooter. got a uh, locking uh, mechanism with the this is a uh, trailer lock trailer hitch lock and uh, it's kind of small so works pretty good just take this off there's a bushing down there and it keeps the uh, it's a replaceable bushing. It's just a cheap piece of plastic. But, uh, it's 
Seems to work pretty good. So I keep my fuel tank in my truck so there's no living in apartments. So I keep it in there and uh, that way um, there's no fuel or oil in the um, apartment which isn't allowed so that's kind of nice. So I hook it up like this. I get this um, screw in one and it's a quick disconnect here. This is so in case your chain falls off it's very easy to access behind there. You can get plenty of room to if your chain does fall off and that doesn't happen anymore with the uh, 35 size chain but something could get stuck in there and you can clear it really fast it's uh, got these quick disconnects and I set it up so it's kind of idiot proof you only hook it up like you know so and but uh, it's pretty hard to do on the camera so I'll be right back I keep some other goodies in my truck. Uh, got extra fuel, 40 to 1. That's what I usually run it at. And these uh, water holders, these bottle holders, they come with these really frail. Um, these straps, they're Velcro, but I put these um, in between the two bottle holders that I have here. I put, uh, you can see the hose clamps there. So if I'm going on a long trip, I use these two fuel bottles and That'll get me about 121 miles, or maybe a little less. Um, this one's a, not quite a one liter uh, canister, and this one, uh, it's a little less than that one. But uh, there's another one there too, if you want to put fuel there, it can go quite a ways. But one tank full lasts about approximately, uh, it's lasting about, Oh, 3.75 hours or so, almost four hours. That's that's enough fun for a while, usually. But you can go all day with this setup. I usually carry some stuff with me. Um, don't usually carry the spare tire, but you never know. And uh, that's my humongous bike chain. I usually wrap it, coil it up, and throw it across my shoulder like a bandolier. And my toolbox, or my um, backpack, has all my tools in it. Extra tools, I can change tires, patch them, and stuff like that. So that's one of the neat things. Don't have to carry it on you. Got this warning, um... Warning uh, tracking within, and uh, anyhow, that's where my phone sits. And I listen to my tunes, and obviously, there's a recharger here. Plugs in there. Too much choke, I guess. No, not enough choke. 
All right, it usually fires right up, but. Hmm. Okay, I found out why I was having a hard time starting and I forgot to take out this uh, little piece of paper towel I shoved in there to keep, it keeps the smell down and uh, definitely um, a lot nicer when you take it in your apartment and stuff. So you can barely hear it. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm looking for is a Christian investor that's interested in making these amazing devices or scooters. I'm currently working on a two-speed transmission that's never been made before. But this engine technology definitely needs to be looked into. Lower sound, higher horsepower, torque, and more efficiency. I've been working on this for a year and have a proven design. Thanks for watching my video. Please hit the like and subscribe. I will be putting out more videos when I get a chance. I'm just really busy trying to make a second scooter for heavier people that will be able to put four or five hundred people excuse me, four or five hundred pound people on scooters.